Welcome to another... They're so cute. They're so cute. Welcome to another edition of Try Guys Game, Guys Game Time. Time. Today, my favorite, why I'm here, puppies. Look at them. Look at them. Look at them. Look at the puppies. Look at them. They're so cute. They're so cute. We have to stay focused. Okay. Uh, so this is the best day ever. This is the best day of my life. I can't wait to take all these puppies home. Today we are playing Extreme Puppy Trivia. So we have 10 puppies here that you will get to choose from if you get a question correct. However, this is white elephant style, meaning that you can steal a puppy from one of your opponents if you get the question correct. And we're not counting points, so in the end, it's gonna be whoever has the most amount of puppies in their little playpen wins. And the winner takes home the puppies no one's taking for puppies adoption. Home. This is just playtime for puppies. We've agreed. We're Play. getting another puppy. This is playtime for puppies. Hey, I'm Ned, father of Bean. You know, historically, me and puppies have a tenuous relationship. Uh, I got over a childhood fear of dogs, and I'm looking at these puppies, and I'm thinking, 10 on me, probably too much. Hi, I'm Eugene. I am the dog father. I am the pup meister. I am the canine to a K-10, because they're 10 puppies, and I'm gonna adopt all of them. Yeah, this is the one I wanna, I wanna, I wanna win. I, I mean, want, you wanna get all 10 on you. Yeah, I want all 10 puppies. My name's Keith, I love cats, but I'm still here to play to win, baby. See you at the finish line. <laughs> <laughs> the person who has the most puppies in their playpen at the end gets to put on a puppy suit, pretend like you're a puppy, and have uh, all of the puppies on you in the wait, playpen. You get to become a puppy you if you win? You get to become a puppy. Whoa. <laughs> Okay. Whoa. <laughs> all right. Yeah, all right. that sounds good. I don't know if I would like that. <laughs> I don't know either, but you know what? Winners can't be choosers. <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Easy question number one. Where do 45% of US dogs sleep? Where do they sleep? A, inside the house. Oh. B, in a crate. C, in their owner's bed. Or D, in a shelter or outside. 45%? I don't know. I don't want to guess D. Just gonna throw that out there. D might be correct, but I choose to not believe it's correct. Mm -hmm. Go with your heart, man. Uh, Are we ready? Yeah. Keith. I went with where my kitty cat sleeps, which is in my bed, and there's a very bad drawing of a dog. I actually also guessed owner's bed, because 45% of the time you let me put our dogs <laughs> in our bed. So that's the only percentage I could, I, could, I, could, I could relate to, so yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I guessed in bed, because I dress for the job I want. Well, wait, watch Not us. the job <laughs> I have. Watch us all be wrong. I think well. it is wrong, but this is what I want it to be. I want it to be 90%. Right? Yeah. All right, ding, 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 everyone got it right. Yeah! It's yeah. a puppy party! According to the 2013 study by the American Kennel Club, 45% of US dogs sleep in their owner's bed. 20% sleep in a crate, 4% in shelters, and 14% somewhere else inside the house. Oh, that's great. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Good. That's great. And why don't you describe which puppy you want to match, and you can hand it over. Um, I want the little wiener dog. Wiener dog. Say the shrimp. Shrimp. Oh, little shrimp. Hold on, real quick. Madison, you look at the camera over here. And let's all say hi to Madison. Hi, hi Madison. Madison. Thanks for bringing the puppies. Thank you for bringing the adorable puppies. Of course. What's his name? His name is Shrimp. Shrimp. Oh, my God. Shrimp. Oh, little shrimp. Hi, little shrimp. Hi, little shrimp. Oh, there you go. Little you go. Shrimp. Oh, there you go. The little tiny one. The little tiny. I know, this is different. They're all tiny. That's the one. Yeah, the tiniest one. Oh. Tiniest baby. Do you want to play? Uh -huh. Give me tiny baby. Oh, you want to put your oh. head through this? This is a little rent. Yeah. What's his name? Uh, so some of them don't have names, but if you want to give them like friendship. This one's tiny. This is Sonia. Sonia. Yeah. Sonia, babe. Sonia. Why not? Sonia. She doesn't like a Sonia. 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 That's not Sonia. Sonia's here. Sonia. No one would have picked oh, the name Sonia for that. Sonia. Why not? <laughs> Matt. Which one? Which I would like you to pick the uh, dog you, you want to adopt the most. This, this was the one that was nicest to me. Stop. Yay! Oh, hi, Franny. You want to you okay. bite it? Oh, right. God. So if, if Shrimp just accidentally jumps into Eugene's, does that mean I lost him? 
All right, question number two. All right, shrimp, let's do this, bro. Don't get you distracted. What makes Newfoundland dogs the ultimate doggy lifeguards? Oh, buoyancy. A, they have water resistant coats. B, their lung capacity relative to their size. C, their incredible eyesight to spot swimmers in peril. Or D, their size can easily carry the weight of a human. Whoa, those are all cool things, but only one of them's true. Only one of them is true. It's what makes Life Newfoundland guys. dogs the ultimate doggy lifeguards. Sonia. Hi, please. Hi, Franny. Sonia, where are you going? Okay. Are we ready? Okay, Ned. Uh, I guessed eyesight. I was tempted to guess the one about, you know, holding on to a dog, but I feel like you would use a dog to see something and then go, like, use a floaty to rescue them. Mm. Um, just out of the four, I guess the one that was most life saving So I said D, the size to human ratio for like dog being big can also be used as a flotation device. I think the dog is the floaty. I think so. Oh, that makes more sense. I don't a know. The floaty that swims. Okay. I also the think logic. the dog was a floaty, but specifically with its lungs. Ooh. Big old lungs allow for more oxygen, more strength, and yeah. more buoyancy. Mm. Yes, none of those made sense. It was A, they have water resistant coat. Okay. Aww. Why would that make so me So the dog good? won't get wet. Who cares you know? if the dog's wet? Dogs are supposed to be wet. We're all so, like, wrong. dogs are supposed to get wet. Newfoundland dogs are the ultimate doggy lifeguards because they have water resistant coats and webbed feet. Oh, that, that, that one is way more That one was the one. They were originally bred as fishermen's helpers Shrimp. to rescue Shrimp. dogs and people from drowning. Shrimp. I'm gonna need you to stay here. Okay. So no, one gets, a, no one, one gets a puppy. I'm trying no. to get you friends. All right, question three. Remember, these are the easy questions. Yeah, they're never that easy. Yeah. Approximately, how many dogs exist around the world? Whoa. Around the whole world. Whoa. Don't count is the it, fictional dogs. Is it A, 900 million, B, 500 million, C, 300 million, or D, 100 million? Hey, what's up, shrimp? That's a tough one, Matt. It's a lot of dogs. There are a lot of dogs. I got a guess. I did it. I got a guess. I guess B, 500 million. I don't know why. That was just the number that first popped out to me. I went with 900 million. A dog for every boy. <laughs> yeah. If there's six and a half billion people, a quarter here. of them are gonna be young boys, maybe. I don't know, a dog for every boy. <laughs> Good yeah, logic. I, I guess 900 million too. There's seven billion people, like a lot of people have dogs, and some people have multiple dogs. And some dogs don't even need people. I, every answer That's I was true. surprised that it wasn't more than a billion. Dang. Mm. Okay. Mm. There are approximately 900 million dogs in the world. Yeah. 900 million, yeah. almost a billion dogs. Shrimp, we're gonna get a friend. All right, Keith, do you want to steal a dog or do you want to get a new dog? I'm taking the dog. <laughs> I'm taking oh, the You're taking oh, Franny? Man, look how sweet that one is. Franny. Oh, oh Franny's mine. Also, look Franny's at the dogs in there. They're all crazy. <laughs> Why do we want any of those? I want it's this puppy one. time. This there is what are, puppies do. Keith, there are seven dogs left and you are taking my dear Franny yeah. from me. Yeah. You got you to gotta give them up. Um, I'll take, um, I'll take uh, that, that little one. The little, the little one that looks like Sonia's cousin. The rambun rambunctious one. Uh oh. Yeah, I guess it is the rambunctious chance. one. Ooh, chance. Yeah, I'll take this a chance, chance with chance. Look how cute. So fluffy. Here you go. Hi, chance. Play with shrimpies. Hello. Oh, he's so cute. You're a baby. No, 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 no. What's it like no, to no, be no. a baby? No, no, no. You like being a baby? The walls have gotten bigger. <laughs> you like being a little baby? Question four, oh, last so question good. of the easy so round. No, 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 There's no, only four shrimp. questions? Shrimp, no shrimp. Shoot. Four questions each round. Damn. Last question of the easy round. High stakes. Why do dogs have cold noses? Oh. Why do shrimp. dogs have cold shrimp, 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 shrimp. noses? <laughs> Great question. A, like to regulate chill. their body temperature. B, to be ultra sensitive heat sensors. C, to help ward off diseases. Uh -huh. Or D, to keep them hydrated. It's hot noses or wet noses? Cold noses. Oh, no. Eugene, you're looking pretty sad. No puppies there. Yeah. What is your answer? I guess A, regulate body temperature. I guess A, regulate body temperature. I guess B, find the heat. Stick their cold nose in my warm arm oh, pit, shrimp, why don't you? No. Shrimp! The escape artist. He is an escape the artist. The correct answer is B. Oh, man. To be ultra sensitive.
sensitive heat sensors. No. <laughs> they have cold <laughs> noses so they can sense the heat better. No. I want the dachshund. Yes, researchers have revealed dogs have cold noses to serve as ultra-sensitive heat detectors. Skull shrimp. Uh, the nose is too small to be meaningfully contribute to dog's overall thermal regulation. How does Keith have all the dogs? How does Keith have all the dogs? He's the cat person. All right, so we're at the end of round one, the easy round. Ned, we have one dog. Eugene, zero dogs. Keith is in the lead with three dogs. My collection. Keith, what's going on with Sonia? <gasps> Sonia's gone. Sonia! All right, we have round two, medium questions. Who is gonna get the most dogs this round? Me, give me a dog, Matt. You gotta get them right. All right, are we ready? Question one of round two. The Norwegian Lundhund huh. has the most toes of any breed. How many toes does it have in total? I love this question. A, 24. What? B, 28. No way. C, 32. So many. Or D, 36. That's so many toes. How many toes? Huh? What would you do? How many toes does the Norwegian Lundhund have? Well, I don't know, man. What? What? How many toes? Okay. I'm going to be. 28, seven toes per foot. I also guessed 28, seven toes. Well, I just guess this was a freaky dog with a shit ton of toes, so I guess I guess it's 32. We got I, pee. I just want it to be We 32. got pee. <laughs> Someone take the dogs. Both of you get it right and take my dogs. <laughs> take the dogs. Oh, you gotta live with the pee, I don't baby. want the pee. The Norwegian Lundhund, or Puffin Dog, has six fully functional toes and eight pads for each of its four feet, giving a total of 24 toes. Mm. Oh, yeah, it wrong? Yeah. Somebody help me. Somebody help. I guess 24. 24 seemed the most reasonable, but you said it was the most ever. So she I was like, well. The, the, the most of any other dog breed. Probably dogs that have 24 I toes. Why, like, one I don't think, I don't think so, so many toes. Most have five? Uh, there's yeah. pee How many everywhere. Do you have? There's pee on everything. Chance? How are you doing, Eugene? How does it look like I'm doing? Can't we? Great. No. There's no dogs. We're not bringing home any dogs today. No, any dog that ends up at the end with me is our dog. No. I'm doing this good, you know. Happening. A single dog. How are you doing? I do need to stretch out my legs. I feel <laughs> like I have too many kids. <laughs> I feel like I'm a, a mother at a wit's end. Here's the next question. Up to how many words can the most intelligent dog breed understand? Hey, hey 50. Stop it. 50? Stop it. B, 150. You gotta play with what? Oh my god. C, 250. <laughs> D, 350. Oh, my legs fell asleep. No. Ow. I'm ready. Are we ready? Uh, yeah. I don't. That's. Wow, that's a lot. I'll just guess <laughs> this. Stop. Okay. <sighs> Are we ready? Yes. <laughs> I'll be fine. Maybe get him I, a banana. I, can I get a pillow? He needs a something? banana. Eugene. Me first? Yeah, you first. I guess 250. I believe in the intelligence of dogs. Okay, the most intelligent dog breed, 250 words. Keith. I think dogs are stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Even the smart ones ain't got nothing on me. Uh, I was try. also kind of shocked at the size of the answers, but I hedged and said 150. 150, so right in the middle. Maybe there's something the I don't know. The correct sorry. answer is 250 words. Yay! Yay! Finally! Average dog can learn up to 165 words, and those in the top 20% of dog intelligence yes. learn 250 words. How many do the stupid dogs Shit. know? Okay, um, I could help Keith out and take one of his, but no. no. I want to get one of these who haven't been played with yet. Um, Which Madison, one? Madison, I'll let you choose whichever you think needs a little Eugene time. Let's do Cutie Pie. Cutie, Cutie Pie. Pie. That's a good name. Here's Cutie Pie. You're so cute. Cutie Seems pie. to be the only oh. thing that satiates these dogs. Cutie Pie. Hi, cutie Pie. Oh. Chance. Hi, cutie Pie. Chance. Oh. How are you feeling now, Eugene? I feel much better with a puppy. I'm going to let uh, this next one be up to Chance. Ah. So you're going to A, B, C, D. And whichever one Chance jumps on, that's the one I'm going to guess. That's how Keith's doing. <laughs> Question three, round two. Which of these facts about dogs is false? Mm -hmm. False. Okay. Huh. A, they can only see in black and white. Mm. B, they can be left or right-handed, or left and right pod. Huh. C, bloodhound sense of smell can be used as evidence in the court of law. Whoa. Or D, all puppies are born deaf. Huh. Huh. All right. All right, Chance, which one do you think? B, I got my answer. 
All right, Ned chose. Ned chose B. Chance decisively stepped on B. Great, great logic. Trusting, trusting your dog's instinct. I believe it's A. I think dogs can see more than in black and white. Okay. Same Z's, A. I think a. they see in at least three colors. <laughs> Dogs do not only see black and white. Yeah. So A is the correct answer. Yes. Scientists now believe that a dog's color vision dogs keep, is similar chance. to that of a person who has red, green color blindness. Chance, chance. Hey. Dogs can make out yellow and blue in combinations of those colors. Wait, are you stealing chance? Yeah, I'm taking chance. <laughs> no. <laughs> I feel like we just connected. Hand me the dog. Don't, no, don't take Give him. Give me your dog. Don't take chance him. Chance is very cute. Come on, Chance. No. You're like Corella the Bill. <laughs> Stop, dogs. Stop trying to break there out. There we go. Love your new home. Uh, um, babe, I would also like a, uh, another dog that we're going to be adopting soon. Madison, you could choose. What about Daisy? Oh, look how cute Daisy is. Daisy do. Oh no, do I look like a rich Asian girl? <laughs> <laughs> With these all the white fluffy all puppies. All white dogs. Just calm down, it's okay. I, I guess said, I, uh, I said I needed oat milk. So Ned, how do you oh, feel just... for getting all of your pets stolen? Really bad. All right, last question of round two. Approximately how long did the oldest dog ever live? Ooh, uh, uh, how old? So A, 20 years. B, 30 years. C, 40 years. Or D, 50 years. What? How long oh. did the oldest dog live? 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, 50 years. No, no, that's not how it works. Hey, buddy. No. I'm going with 50. 50 years young. The oldest dog in the world needs to do some you damage. You think a dog lasted 50 years? Lived 50 it, years. I think he lived 50 years. Stop. No, you can't come over. No, the house is closed. You come back to your team. Okay, Eugene, what's your, what's your answer? I'm going with 30. That's the oldest I can imagine a dog. 30? Okay. I know. Same. I know 15 years is like standard, so I imagine 20 years gets hit fairly frequently. And so 30 is the oldest I can imagine. That is correct. 30. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, darn. The greatest reliable age recorded for a dog is 29 years, five months for an Australian cattle dog named Bluey. So what's... Most dogs live eight to 15 years. And that's round two. Chance, I didn't leave it up to chance. So who are you taking? I'm taking chance. Oh, he's taking chance. That hey, Fran. <laughs> Franny, you gotta stay here. Give this dog back to Ned. Yeah. I would like um, another dog, but not so plastic one. So I a little more diversity. Take this one. I got you back. Take I got you, you back. Got you got take shrimp. Thing up to chance ever again. Uh, she doesn't have one, but you can give her one. What do you want to name Falafel. her? Falafel. This is Falafel. Yay. Look how cute. Come here, Falafel. She's such a tiny little butt. She's so cute. It smells like puppy. Hi, Falafel. That's right, Chance. Things go better when you know the correct answer through reasoning and logic. So now we're wrapping round two. We have Ned with one dog, Eugene with three dogs, and Keith with three dogs. Too many dogs. So we are in our last and final round, the most difficult round of our trivia game today. And this is the double dog dare you round, where Ooh, every question whoa. you get correct, you get two dogs. Two dogs. Not one dog, two but two, two dogs. dogs. Okay. Oh, this is and huge. You can either steal or take them from the pen. So we still have game. Oh, I'm three back in this. lonely puppies over here waiting for you. Question one, round three. Approximately when were dogs first domesticated? Are you pooping? <laughs> Who's pooping? He pooped. <laughs> <laughs> How do you have all the dogs that poop and pee? I forfeit. <laughs> I'm out. He pooped. It's gross. No, it's just a little puddle. It's gross. It is yeah. rank. The tiny babies. Sonia. Sonia. The one that he picked first. Oh, you are. Oh, oh my god. My so calm. God. Which is, my what? god. Go quick. Ask the question quick. Go. Approximately when were dogs first domesticated? Mm. When did they become man's best friend? Okay. A. 5,000 years ago. B. 10,000 years ago. C. 15,000 years ago. Or D. 20,000 years ago. There's poop on my shoe. Oh, it's residual okay. from before, but. There's poop on my shoes. <laughs> I wore my nice shoes today. Oh, I can't, there's on. poop on my shoes. All right, everyone have an answer? I got an I answer. I have an answer. Okay. 10,000 years. Okay, 10,000 years ago. 10, I guess 20,000 years, man's best friend 20, forever. 20,000 years soon ago. As soon as the glaciers receded, the doggies Jeez. started. 15, I split 000. the difference, I went 15. Oh boy. The earliest domesticated dogs is thought to have been done by the Paleothic humans in East Asia approximately 
15,000 hey, years ago. Hey, dog, dog, hey. father. Give me those shih tzus. The black one is Penelope. Penelope. Hi, Penelope. And Poppy. Poppy. Penelope and Poppy. Oh. Penelope and Poppy. Hello, Bubs. <gasps> Hi, guys. Hi, buddies. Question two, round three. Quick, quick. Oh, I know we're playing. We're playing. It is not unheard for pet owners to bequeath something to their dogs in their will. What was the largest amount of money ever given to a dog? Oh, oh God. Oh, wow. This is gonna make me mad. A, <laughs> one million. B, five million. Okay, already C, too much. 10 million. D, 15 million. Oh, 15. All right, we're gonna go back to uh, Chance. You let me down once. We're gonna do it again. These are already too, this is too much to give a dog. I love dogs. It's probably one of the ones where. All right, Chance. What okay. will it be? What was it again? D, uh, he, he guessed D. He definitely guessed D. I'm guessing 10 million, because I think it's probably exorbitant, but I really hope it's not 15 million. <laughs> yeah, Chance guessed 15. I think it's high, but I gotta stick with uh, Chance. All right, the largest legacy devoted to a dog was 15 million, oh. bequeathed by Ella Wendell of New yes. York. Chance! To her standard poodle no, Toby chance. in 1931. Yes, Chance! Whoa, Whoa that's too much. 15 million dollars in 1931, That's money? a expensive dog. That's a lot what of the money. What did the dog do with it? A lot of money. Invested? That's like, that's like. Toby lived a good life. Hundreds of millions of dollars. He invested it in the stock market. I mean, that would. <laughs> <laughs> I has good. Two I'll dogs. take that last little guy and I'll take back my Come here, boy. Come here. Uh, shrimp. 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 Keith. Please. <laughs> this boy What's won't this stay with name? me anyway. No chance. No name. Thank you. Guess what? This one's name It's Toby. Oh, <laughs> Toby. It's Toby. $15 million Beans. Toby right uh, here. We got Toby. Beans. We got Chance. We got Shrimp. Oh. Shrimp Keith. So that means all the dogs are out of the pen and we have them distributed amongst this was us. How long is the longest tongue on a dog ever. Nice. The longest tongue. Nice. Ew, <laughs> very, very cool. A, Weird. seven <laughs> inches. B, 12 inches. Wait, what? Seven inches, 12 inches? Whoa. C, 17 inches, or D, 22 inches? 17 know, inch man. tongue on a That's dog? Seven, a 12, 17, or 22? I don't know. Seven, 12. Where do you start the measurement? From the back of the throat? I don't know, but I've seen some long sure. dogs. Or from the lips. <laughs> it's probably the whole tongue, you know? Uh, hello, dog. Okay, okay, I'm going doggies. with 17. Okay, dog. C, 17. 17. I'm 17. going with 12. I think it's a Marmaduke dog. 12 and guess, 17 I inches. Guess 17. The world record for the longest tongue on a dog is 17 oh, inches. No. Oh, my puppies. And belong to Brandy the Boxer, who lived with her owner in Michigan. Oh, no. Oh, no. So oh, no. You both take two we both from take two me. from you. I want. The two calmest puppies. I'll take, I want this one mm -hmm. and this one. I'll take the little guy. Thank you. Girl. And um, I don't know, this one. Wow. Which one, this one? These are I'll high stakes. You went from so wow. many dogs. Oh, look at all these dog. puppies. Oh, no. I'm surrounded by puppies. Okay, okay, I take it back. This is kind of fun. This is not as overwhelming as I thought it might be. You could have stolen from each other. You all stole from me. Oops. Uh, yeah. Oops. Ned has five yeah, dogs. Eugene should've. has one dog. And that means that Keith has four, <laughs> four dogs. dogs. This is the last question. Ooh. I have a whole new crop except for the oh. one that pooped. Which of these facts is false? A, Idlewide, California elected a golden retriever as their mayor named Mayor Max. B, dogs poop in alignment with the Earth's magnetic field. C, a dog's nose print is as unique as a human's fingerprints. And D, only one dog survived the sinking of the Titanic, a Pomeranian from the first class cabin. Well, duh, it's from the first class. <laughs> No, 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 that no, no. That would so, make me so mad. Shrimp. Look, man, oh, I think they poop wherever they want. I'm pretty sure that they just poop anywhere. Um, so I'm guessing B. So Something about the pooping in dogs, relation to magnetic field. Dogs poop in alignment with a magnetic field. It doesn't false. seem like I it. also guess that because our three dogs poop everywhere. They, they poop anywhere. And anywhere. They don't care where their booty hole's pointing. Okay. I went with the Titanic. I thought, hey, maybe two. <laughs> Or maybe zero. Maybe All two right. Enough. But you gotta go back to Keith. In fact, three dogs survived the historical sinking what? of the Titanic in Keith? 1912. Are you serious? 
two Pomeranians and one Pekingese, all from the first class wow. cabin. Oh. Wait, so Keith got it right. I Keith got was it right. right. Which means he gets to steal two dogs? Keith yeah. gets to steal two more dogs. Yeah. Clearly you should steal Ned's, not I'm, mine. I'm stealing that one, the Matt's holding. You want shrimps. I like shrimp, he's been goofy, and he means a lot to Ned. And I'm also <laughs> taking Chance. No! He's goofy, and he means a lot to Ned, and leaving no! one dog for Eugene to bring home to his home. No! <laughs> Three dogs. Here we go. I'm in second place, but I feel like I lost my friends. <laughs> well, Keith, you got your dream. That's you right. You get to be covered in dogs. I have won the trivia, which means I get the prize of dressing as a puppy and joining them as my brethren. <laughs> I guess let's cut to that. <laughs>